In this chapter we are going to talk about files, reading and writing files, but before we do that, let's uh, have a side trip to something slightly different, but uh, something that we will need to use. Uh, three keywords, die, warn and exit. Out of these, exit is probably the simplest. It, you just call it and it will exit from the program. That's it. Uh, you can actually pass a value here and that will be the exit code. If so, from the outside people, some script or someone is checking what was the exit code, that, that's the number that you get. Warn will get a string and it will print out that string to the standard error. So it's by default a screen, but users can separate it to it because it goes to the standard error. So it prints out the, to the screen. And die is somehow, somehow combining the two. It gets a string, prints out that string to the standard error, and then exits the program. Actually, if uh, you're coming from other programming languages, that you would, would uh, understand that what die does is it throws an exception. And if you're just writing a script where you don't catch the exceptions, then this is the result, printing the string to the screen and um, exiting the program. Now, if you call, just to have an example, if you call warn with this string. Now, so people at this point sometimes ask me why don't I put a parentheses here and why did I put here. It's a matter of taste. Here I'm talking about uh, the, the subroutines, so I'm sort of trying to point out and uh, usually people like the parentheses around uh, parameters, so after the name of the subroutine. But in fact, in Perl, you don't really have to do that. You don't have to put the parentheses around. Uh, the parameters of, of a function. So that's why I, I do uh, this way. So if you call warn with this string, and then what you get is this output. This is a warning. So this is the text. And then you get the name of the script and the null number where it was called. This part is added because there is no new line here at the end of the string. So it's up to you. If you would like to have only the string exactly what the, the warning you wanted to give, then just put it a backslash n at the end the end. Or, uh, and I think it's in many, many cases it's better, leave the new backslash n out, and then Perl will automatically attach the name of the script and the line number. And this can be very useful because when you're running a script or someone else is running your script or someone else is running a couple of scripts, one after the other, and then suddenly some warning comes out, it's very useful to, to see in which file and in which number that happened.